Hello, my name is Hai from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide to karma support. For solo Q on karma, I don't think she is that great at it. She has a strong lane phase, but she has low kill pressure, and her team fighting is kind of awkward. You kind of just beat everyone around, and that's a comp that you need a lot of communication on, and that's not so something solo Q provides. So she's strong in a team setting where you're doing screams and things like that, but in solo Q where you need coordination to make the most use of her speed up, it becomes a little bit weaker. So while she is viable in support in solo queue, I don't think she's one of the better ones. Karma's lane phase is actually really strong since she gets an ultimate at level 1, which makes her Q and her other spells a lot stronger than they are. Your W heals you, your E gives you a giant shield to you and your AD carry, and your Q does a lot of damage and is super easy to hit when you use it as an ultimate. So you are a lane bully, however your peel once again sucks, you aren't very tanky, you're kind of low mobility, and your peel isn't that amazing. So it's always important for Karma to win lane, but that doesn't mean you want to die for it. You want to have good vision control and get the little advantages. Whether that's a 20, 30, 10 CS lead, that's good. It's hard for you to kill people since your kill pressure is relatively low, but you have a high tower dive pressure in the case you're poking them down a lot. But keep in mind, Karma is good for poking lane. She's not very good at all ending lanes. So don't get baited into an all in where she does not shine in. And keep in mind your ultimate W heals you a lot. It's not always vital to use your ultimate for your Q. For team fighting on Karma, you want to be spamming your mantra E as much as possible and look into root the assassins that are trying to kill your AD carry. Throw your Q on cooldown at whoever you're able to hit, but make sure you're spamming your mantra shield on your entire team and shielding the person that is currently dying or shielding the person that is looking to kill someone and needs that extra speed boost. Other than that, watch your positioning as she's really squishy, especially if you're building AP on her. She's not very good at protecting herself, whereas she's good at protecting others. So make sure you're sitting in the back, make them die for you and make them go out of position to kill you. You do not want to be on the front and it's not worthwhile for you to get a stun off on someone if that puts you in a position of dying. A cool tip on karma support is that the moment you cast your ultimate, it starts going on cooldown immediately. So even if you're not going to cast a spell for the next 7 seconds, it's worthwhile to press your ultimate and then cast it later. So for example, if you know you're going to mantra Q, press your ultimate and just let it sit there for a while and then throw your Q out. Even in teamfights, if you see one about to happen, you can press your ultimate and then wait for the teamfight to start and then use it. The faster you use your ultimate, the faster it will go on cooldown. Another tip on Karma support is that her mantra W, it heals her for 20% of her max HP at the beginning of it and another 20% HP at the end of it. So it makes you a lot tanker than people would assume since you're healing so much with your W and spamming shields. So it's pretty hard to kill a Karma support. So keep that in mind as the game goes on, your mantra is more important in your W and E than it is on your Q. For runes on Karma support, they're pretty much standard. You'll run hybrid penetration reds, flat HP yellows, flat magic resistance blues, and armor quint. Now keep in mind, some of these are interchangeable. For example, if you don't think you're going to do a lot of auto attacks in your lane, like if there's two ranged champions in bot lane, you can switch your reds from hybrid penetration to flat magic penetration. In the case you have a full AD bot lane, you can switch out your blues, which are magic resistance, and change them to flat AP blues instead. Other than that, just make sure that you have the right runes for the lane you are against. For masteries and karma support, you will go 0, 18, 12, with the points into intelligence and windspeaker's blessing. Now, people make an argument about going precision and thunderlords, but I don't really like that one as much since you don't scale as well with that one. If you're really intent on winning the game before 20 minutes, like the rest of your team, like say you don't have champions that scale well, then you'll want to go precision and thunderlords. But in the case that you don't have that condition in your team, then you'll want to go Windspeakers and Intelligence. And then the Resolve trait, I like going Runic Armor over Veteran Scars, since I feel like that helps you more than flat 45 HP does. You squish your early game, but you scale better. So those are the options that you can do in the Masteries. For Skill Order and Karma Support, you'll get Q. Following that, you'll get your Shield. And then for your level 3 point, you have two options. You can get another point in your Q, or get a point in your Tether. If you think you can have kill pressure to have it, get that. Otherwise, if you're just looking to harass, get a point in your Q. Following that, I like having 3 points in Q and then maxing shield afterwards. However, you are able to max Q first if you're winning lane very hard. In the case you're not, I recommend just maxing E first. And then following that, your E will be maxed first, then your Q, and then your W. 
Item build on Karma is pretty standard. You'll rush Frost Fangs, get your Sight Stone, and then you have two options. If your team does not have a lot of magic damage, go full AP Karma. If your team has a lot of magic damage, go standard support item Karma. So if you're going full AP, you'll want to get a Morello in the CDR boot so you get your 45% CDR cap instantly. Following that, you'll just want to get AP, either a Void Staff, Death Cap, or Hourglass, depending on what you need versus the enemy team. In the case you have to go with support items, you'll want to get your Locket, the Iron Solari, or Banner of Command, and the other support items that you'll need will be depending on what team you are versus. Depending on they have a lot of magic damage or a lot of AD damage, it'll make you build different things. But you want to rush 45% C down in Karma, so you can spam your shields as much as possible. Thanks for watching this basic champion guide to Karma support. Please check out the rest of the guides over at lawclass.com. Take care guys.